when I first joined the Canberra Bush Walking Club in 1984. Cave Creek was one of the first places I went on an overnight walk. During the 1980s I participated and even led a walk to Cave Creek usually every year. In those days access was via Piccadilly Circus and it was a long rough dirt road. However, the access crossed private property and one of the landowners locked the gate and from that point on the only access to Blue Water Hole was a much longer journey round via Adaminibi. During the 95 I went on a walk led by Harry Hill which was to visit several of the huts in the high country. My sister Susan also went on this walk. European graziers started moving into the Kuliman Plain area from the 1830s. By 1870 they were building homesteads and also outlying huts for the stockmen. Kuliman was one of the main residences in the area. It was occupied by manager of the run until the late 1950s when it fell into disrepair before being bought out by the National Park Service in 1975. During the 1980s the Kuliman Homestead buildings were refurbished to get them back into shape from years of disuse. So my aim for this trip was to visit some of the huts I visited on that 95 walk to identify 
some photos from my collection and be the first visit back to Blue Water Hole Cave Creek since 1995. Time is 6.17 in the evening and camped here beside Cave Creek near Clark Gorge. Beautiful location, nice grassy spot. That's the gorge down there which I've just visited this afternoon. Very impressed. Now I'm cooking some lentil mixture which is one quarter cup. And I've added four of the quarter cup measures of the water. So I'll cook the lentil mixtures for about half an hour. Then I'll add some brown rice and cook then for another half hour. To start off with, I've put in 30 mils of mefo into the Trangia burner. So see how that goes and probably use the pot cosy for part of the cooking process as well so I've pitched the the old Caribbee tent fly here you know, which is from at least 1980 used to use it with a Paddy Palin tent and just recently I've bought this Cedar Summit bug net inner tent which fits just inside the tent fly not sure how it would go in windblown rain but looks nice and comfortable at the moment so we'll see how it goes tonight time is 6 30 in the morning and it's been raining a little bit overnight started around 1 a.m. and 
it got a little bit heavy about three and as I'm talking it's just started to drizzle again temperatures about 10 degrees Celsius wasn't cold at all last night it stayed dry under the tarp bit claustrophobic with the low hanging net so have to get used to that about to cook breakfast now which will be rolled oats and possibly pancake if I feel up to it I've got with me my Van Gogh Voyager 300 sleeping bag weighs about one half kilos not probably not the lightest but it's a synthetic bag rated down to about zero I think not sure bit of white spirit to make it easier to light message from Neil Telfer that's nice I've piked on the pancakes today, so just having the biscuits with peanut butter and honey. Still wet from yesterday's creek crossing, so time to put them on. Time is 7.51 and packing up the tent and about to head back to the car to sort out a few things and then head to Old Kirango Hut. Time is 8.25 and I've just connected the mobile phone up to the Xiaomi battery which in turn has been charged from the solar panel. Time is 9.17 and at the turn off of the Mosquito Creek Trail off the Blue Water Holes Trail there's two signs, one saying Pocket Hut is 4.8 kilometres and 
The other sign says Bill Jones Hut is 2.3 kilometres and Harris Hut, which is a ruin, 5.6 kilometres. So I'm heading for Bill Jones Hut, have a look, and then Old Kirango Hut. The time is 10 past 10 and about to leave Bill Jones Hut. It's probably about another 6 kilometres to Old Kirango Hut, so that shouldn't take too long. Maybe an hour and a half is my guess. So they'd probably make, make it there by about lunch. So yeah. There were some horses around, but they seem to have gone now. Water, there's a little creek over there, but it's very muddy from the horses. There was a note, a girl left in the logbook back in the hut, says that water's better 200, about 100 metres upstream. It's not a very big creek, so I don't know what it, the creek would be like 100 metres up the hill there, but I've got a little bit of water, so I won't need to get water. Mosquito Creek was much better supply. Temperature is about 18 degrees Celsius. It was the fashion of the time to line the walls with newspapers of the period. The newspapers on the walls at Kuliman and at Old Kirango date from 1934 and also 1942. It's interesting reading, looking at the advertisements and also some of the stories that were in the papers about progress of the Second World War. The fireplace is out of commission because back in February this year a severe windstorm damaged the chimney and it's awaiting repair.
time is 3.38 and just finished doing some experimenting with the position of the tent fly. First off I had it about 15 metres from the hut and in a bit of a windy spot once the tent was erected it was okay but while erecting there was a lot of flapping however was concerned that if it did rain then the wind would blow the rain straight through the open end and there'd be no protection so I then shifted the tent right up next to the veranda so that now the, the homestead is giving shelter from the wind so wind is far less of a problem in this location and I've now directed the in a tent as well. Looks like I need two extra pegs so I can pick out the base at the rear of the inner tent. Well, I've already had first course which was chicken noodle soup, packet mix, add a little bit of milk just to thicken it a bit. It was very nice. Now second course I'm heating up half a cup of macaroni and I'll add some cheese I've added one cup of water All that concern earlier this, this afternoon regarding the wind blowing horizontal rain through the tent fly did not eventuate. It's now sunset and it's clear sky with a few scattered clouds around. Time is seven o'clock and the sun's sinking fast now and the last rays of light now striking Mount Time Embry. 7.30 and as you can see not much headroom for me in this bug net tent. Well that's the day gone, sunset and time to bed down. A few spots of rain I can hear just starting on the tent so by look of the clouds it might be more through the night. Tomorrow the plan is to leave early and head back to the car at water, Blue Water Holes. Just a bit of housekeeping. The Zyu batteries had a bit of use today charging the mobile phone and then one of the Sony Action Camera batteries fully charged from dead flat and then top up charge on the second action camera battery and finally I used the Zymi battery to power the action camera doing some long time lapses around sunset so it's showing just full but four bars so with a bit of sun perhaps tomorrow it could be almost fully charged
this is a quarter cup measure so it's in one of these of the pancake mixture one of these of milk and one and a quarter of water I'll use the non-stick pan, pan which is trangier I have to open up the windshield and use the windshield as a support because it'll have to sit on top like that and it needs to be open to allow airflow for the metho burner to function. Going to add some methylated spirits. My guess is I'll probably go for about bit under 10 mils, a bit of shellite to make it easier to light. Careful not to spill this stuff. And it's away. Got a bit of oil for the pancake. And use the tongs for the has just gone out so it's, it's done one pancake already so I need to add a bit more metho I'll probably add another five mils so it'll be 15 mils total so we put the second pancake it's already been cooked maybe the first side's almost done so I'll give it a bit longer and then turn it over. Time to try and turn it. This burn is almost finished, so 15 mils is probably what I need to do in the future for that quantity of mixture, and it's ready. That's the burner, Trangia burner. I've got the simmer ring with the top removed, and this is the top. I got a little hole I've bored in there that fits over there and it throttles it down to very very nicely so I'll just put the two stakes back in I'll reassemble this put the stakes in Put this on top. Filter bottle.
Time is 7.50 and I'm pulling the tent down. I noticed there was a little bit of water in a couple of places on top of the blue paddy made ground sheet. Not sure where they came from. Definitely no water came through the floor of the net tent. Little bit of water on the outside of the tent fly. I'll dry it out when I get home. Little bit of light rain early evening. Then sky cleared. Temperature dropped to five C by morning now clouded. Again, Time is 8.47 That track goes to Bill Jones' hut and hidden over there amongst the trees is a marker. I think that's the way I need to go, but not a very obvious track. Well, there's a marker. We've got to go out in the middle of this plane to join the Blue Water Holes track. Kookaburra has started. When I saw it, that it wasn't laughing, but now they are laughing. Anyway, it's 9.44 and back at the spot where I left the Mosquito Creek Trail to go to Bill Jones Hut yesterday. It was 9.57 and spotted some more horses right at the junction of the Mosquito Creek Trail and Blue Water Hole Trail. Very open here, so as I'm sure they'll run off as I approach. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a baby, I think.
Cooking up a bit of lunch. First course will be soup, and then second course following the vegetarian stir fry. Backcountry meal. What a pleasant way to finish three days out in the countryside than to have lunch here at Blue Water Hole beside the water. If it was any warmer, we tempt you to go for a swim. Been a not too difficult walk. Only took not even three hours to get back here from Old Karengo. So wasn't that much more time yesterday getting to Old Karengo via Bob Bill Jones hut. Been a lighter pack having the tent fly. Not sure how it would go in strong wind and rain, but no injuries. And I think the soup's just about ready, so I'll have the soup. And if I think of anything else to say, then I'll say it later. I've just added the remainder of the uh, coconut curry that I had on the first night. Thank you.